the Old Testament records the ascension of several mortals. The first was Enoch, whom God was friendly with. He was the seventh patriarch in the line of Adam, the great-grandfather of Noah, the hero of the flood. The fifth chapter of Genesis lists all the patriarchs among the age at which they died. Only Enoch was taken by God. Another mortal was Eliah, lifted up from the earth into heaven. The stories of the Sumerian tablets tell that each of the contenders for heaven had to obtain a shen, a fiery stone. One such daredevil was Gilgamesh. The story is about the ruler of the city of Uruk, whose father was a man and his mother was a goddess. Gilgamesh was considered to be two-thirds divine and one-third human. One of Gilgamesh's ancestors, Utnapishtim, the hero of the Great Flood, escaped death by getting to the heavenly abode together with his wife. Gilgamesh also looked for a way to escape death. The distant journey that Gilgamesh went on was a journey to the habitat of the gods in the company of Enkidu. Their target was the country of Tilmun. The elders of Uruk, as well as the gods with whom Gilgamesh consulted, failed to reason him from his intention. So they advised him to seek permission from Utu Shamash. First, if you should enter this country, inform Utu, they warned him. Thus warned, Gilgamesh asked Utu for permission. Let me enter the country and set up my Shem. Let me build my Shem. Lead me to the landing place. Let your law be my protection. Gilgamesh and his companion finally reached the edge of Tilmun. It was a restricted zone protected by mighty guards. Tired, friends decided to rest before continuing their journey. As they fell asleep, something shook them until they woke up. Did you wake me up? Gilgamesh asked his companion. In my dream, my friend, the earth fell from above, knocked me down, trapped my feet. The glow was blinding. A man appeared, white as no one in this country. He pulled me out of the rubble of the earth. He gave me water and calmed my heart. Gilgamesh fell asleep again, and when he woke up, he spoke to Enkidu again. What I saw was terrible. The sky screamed, the earth thundered. Daylight died out. Darkness has fallen. Lighting tore the air, shot a flame. The clouds swelled and it rained with death. Then the brightness faded, the fire died out, and what fell turned into ashes. Horrified by what he saw, Gilgamesh turned once more to Shamash for protection. Defeating the monstrous guard, he reached Mount Masha. He was close to his first destination, the place where Shams are made, but the entrance to the area was heavily guarded. They spread dreadful fear. They have death in their eyes. Their lights swept across the mountains. They guard Shemash as he ascends into the sky and returns. After Gilgamesh revealed his semi-divine origins and the fact that he was traveling with Shemash's permission, the guards allowed him to pass. Following the trail, Gilgamesh found himself in total darkness. Finally, after traveling a long way, which is described as the 12th Beru, it brightened. Gilgamesh came to magnificent garden where fruits and trees were carved with precious stones. It was there that Gilgamesh's ancestor Utnapishtim was to whom he presented his problem. No man can escape mortal fate, Gilgamesh heard. Then Utnapishtim offered him a sapling of youth, after which a person becomes younger in old age. Unfortunately, the story ends with a description when returning to Uruk, Gilgamesh loses the plant on the way, and so he meets the fate of a mortal. Gilgamesh is inevitably an allegory to the demigods known from mythology, such as Hercules and Achilles. His birth, strength, ability to fight giants allows us to know his supernatural abilities. There are many descriptions of characters trying to pluck the fruit from the second tree of Eden, the tree of life. Written in different ways, it is sometimes called Shem, sometimes fruit. However, the effect of this item gave immortality. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. 
Please like and subscribe if you are interested in the study described here. And see you next time.